Right now, there are two aftermarket parts that you can unlock early. One being the Jack Decimator for the Lockman Shroud and the other one being the Jack Intimidator for the Renetti. These aftermarket parts are actually really simple to unlock. Right now, the challenges are super easy to complete. For the Lockman Shroud, you just need to get 30 kills with a suppressed SMG. Doesn't necessarily need to be the Lockman Shroud, but I'm just using it anyways. And for the Renetti's aftermarket part, you need to get 15 headshots with pistols. Now, I'm not sure if this was intentional or not. There has been times in the past where aftermarket parts have shown up in the mystery box in zombies before they were slated to release. And I know they like to release aftermarket parts either in the battle pass or as weekly challenges. So it could be that Activision meant to release these, but I didn't see any announcement for them, any news for them. So I'm just going to grab them while they're still available before they, uh, they change their mind and take them away. And I'm just getting these unlocked in hardcore right now just because it's way easier to do. But after this, I'm going to take them into a quick game of core, see what they're doing in there. And then I'm going to bring them into zombies and see how well they perform. And for the aftermarket part for the Lockman Shroud, if you're not familiar with the weapon, this is a three round burst. As you can see right here, it only shoots a few shots every time I pull the trigger and it's got the suppressor on the front of the barrel. So it's basically the same as the normal Lockman SMG, just a few different quirks. But the aftermarket part for it turns it to fully automatic. So I'm not sure how different it's going to be from the normal Lockman, but we're going to try it out. And coincidentally, the Renetti is normally a three round burst pistol in the aftermarket part for it turns it into a semi auto pistol that does a little bit more damage. Or at least that's what it says in the stats for it. We'll find out. Oh, we got it. The message looked all messed up. I don't know if it's ready to be unlocked yet. We might be getting away with one here. Now let's get the Renetti done. Oh, there it is. Oh, it says Jack Intimidator on this one. And it's letting me equip them. Okay, so this might work. Yeah, both are able to be equipped. And you can run a Kimbo on it. Let's let's try it with a single pistol first. So now our Lockman Shroud went from shooting in a burst to fully automatic. And our Renetti, no longer a burst. All semi-auto. Let's see if we can do anything with them. So that was against an AFK player. Killed pretty fast. Against these guys, killed pretty fast too. Oof. Renetti, I was not landing too many shots with. What else is new? Ooh. Okay. So far, so good. They don't seem like groundbreaking or anything, but they don't seem terrible either. I don't think it's making the guns worse. Now let's try these in a Kimbo. Ah. Uh. Ah, ah, ah. Not too shabby. Now we have the decision to make whether or not we want to run him a Kimbo in zombies or not. I think I will. A oh, Kimbo is just more fun. Oh, what? I hit that? I just randomly threw that. That was a bank shot too. These guns got to be at least decent if I'm doing anything with them. I also have like toddler SBMM and still get my ass kicked. So I don't know how much that's saying. Got a quick advanced UAV. What does that ever happen? Might as well be a nuke for me. Another one. Two in the same life. Who is this guy? Oh, the second I start gassing myself up. Another one. If you have ever seen me play multiplayer, you know I'm not getting three advanced UAVs in the same game. Either I'm finally where I'm at SPMM wise, or these guns are kind of nice. And that's game. Went 49 and 24. That's pretty decent for me. Not going to lie. These guns, kind of fun to use. But now let's go try them in zombies. Now for the real stuff. Here's the build I'm using for our Lockman Shroud aftermarket part. And here's the build for our Renetti's. And against tier one zombies, our Renetti's don't one shot kill. Hold on. No. Weird. But not that big of a problem since they fire pretty fast. What about our Lockman Shroud? Basically a one tap, two tap. Let's go try it in tier two. Here's our Lockman Shroud against some tier two zombies. It can still handle them, it looks like. Not too shabby for no upgrades, no pack-a-punch. It's even going through his armor a bit. Okay. And our Renettis are struggling a little bit more, but they can still get the kill. It just takes a few extra shots. Ooh. These do have 50-round mags on them, and they are uh, taking almost the whole mag to kill them. Or at least kill a few zombies. Eh, 
Not the best pistol I've ever seen, but it could use some work. And we just landed in tier three. I'm going to grab this bounty while we have the chance. And then let's go test it out against some tier three zombies. A hellhound. These Renettis are struggling against it. Okay, Lockman, your turn. Can you kill him? Not really. Throwing knife's going to have to do. Okay, decoy. I'm buying an extra self revive while we're right here, while we're in the area. I'm going to use stamina up real quick. Uh-oh. All right, zombies, chill. Let me fumble over my inventory at my own pace. Oh, no. That self revive disappeared on me. I got scammed. Where did it go? Where did it go? It's gone. It's gone. But against tier three zombies, not doing a whole lot. Mimic, I really need you to leave. I'm terrified right now. Oh, here's a nice fully armored tier three zombie. Not doing a whole lot. Okay. Awesome. Glad we figured that out. I'm using these and I'm going to take my sorry ass back to tier two so I can get some self revives. Let's go ahead and upgrade them to legendary as well and get them pack three and a little maggle holding for good measure. Tier two zombies, how you feeling now? Not so good, huh? Wait, is this back to burst? That sucks. So even if I hold down the trigger, it only shoots the burst. After pack a punch, it just goes right back to how it was. I don't think this was meant to be released, but maybe the fire rate's still faster. It feels like it's it's faster than it would be. And as for our Renettis, do these go back to burst? No, they're still single shot. Taking these zombies out pretty fast too. And I forgot I picked up a bounty in tier three. Sorry, Mimic, gonna have to leave you. We'll do a tier two bounty instead. And for our Lockman Shroud, it looks like we only have 440 bullets for it. Not the greatest, but I guess with a burst fire weapon, it could go by a bit slower. And then our Renettis are 700 bullets, which ain't bad for pistols. All right, first bounty against this Disciple. We'll use the Lockman Shroud to start. Broke his hand immediately and killed him pretty fast. Okay, I'll take that all day. Maybe the increased fire rate on this burst is gonna be deadly. This could be like Cold Wars M16. And no wonder I couldn't find that revive. I already had it equipped. I was just panicking. I needed to get out of there. All right, next bounty. What do we got? Oh, Mimic. All right, Renettis, it's your turn. Take on the Mimic. Ooh, that's not bad damage at all. Night, night. Do you even have a chance to grab me? All right, tier three, I'm ready. I'm back. I've learned my lesson. I'm strong now. And so are my weapons. Looks like they can take out tier three zombies relatively easily. It takes a few extra shots that I would like to take down a fully armored zombie with the Renettis, but still works. And for our Lockman, can you kill a Hellhound now? Let's go. Ooh, it's like a two shot burst kill on almost all these zombies, armor or not. Let's go try to find some real competition though. Stormcrawler, are you here, buddy? I think I see him. What's up, dude? Let's try the Lockman on you to start. Stopped him healing pretty fast and broke the mask. Oh shit, that's a lot of zombies. Hold on. How much damage are we doing to you unmasked now? That's not terrible. Renettis, what about you? Kind of struggling with these zombies in here, but there's a whole lot of guns that do. You gotta be a different class of gun to be able to kill like these tier two and above storm zombies. They're pretty nasty, but we'll stop them from healing. How much damage is our Renettis doing? Nah, an insane amount. I think our best chance here is the Lockman. The Lockman has the most potential despite it not even really using its aftermarket part besides the, the boosted fire rate. Yeah, look at that. His health is getting drained. No, 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 don't you fly away from me. Don't you even try to heal. There is no healing. I am running low on ammo though. Good thing there's an ammo crate here, but I think that's probably gonna be an issue for us later on. Oh, and you flew right over to us. Makes it more efficient for me to kick your ass. Night, night, pal. You tried your best. But it's over for you. As soon as I can hit the kill shot. Right about here. There we go. Oh, and he dropped us, son. Uh... Oh, shit. He dropped us a whole lot of pain in the ass. Oh, it's just a pack one crystal. Go to the decoy! Damn, zombies. Learn the rules of the game. Rude ass zombies. It's in your programming. Go to the decoy bastards. All right, back to tier three. And I think the Lockman might have a faster movement speed. It looks like I'm going way faster with this out than I am with the Renettis. Well, how's this going to fare against a horde of zombies here? I'm trying to buy my perks, but they're not letting me. Looks like it's taking them out pretty neatly. All I hear is armor shattering. Damn, how rude of them. Let a man use the vending machine. Can the Renettis handle a good amount of zombies at a time? We got a pretty big horde here, plus a mimic. 
Looks like it's just chipping away at the damage. Or at their at their health. Yeah, this ain't bad. They've both been performing pretty well. I think the Renettis might struggle a little bit against like elites more than the, the Lockman would. But then the Lockman is just going to run out of ammo a bit more than the Renettis would. Damn. Mangler's just eating shots to the face. I'm going to have a sore jaw. I'm tr still trying to figure out if I should be shooting them at the same time or alternating. I don't know if it really makes a difference. I wish I still saw Abomination spawn in this spot. This is my favorite spot to fight them. I used to be able to use this fountain to forcibly make them shoot a laser. It was the best. But ever since this triangle Easter egg showed up, the abominations don't. Oh, and speaking of abominations, what's up, buddy? I've been looking for you all game. There you go. Shoot the laser. We'll use the Renettis first on your face. Ooh, broke it. Took a, a little bit. Pretty average time. Why don't you shoot another one so I can give this uh, Lockman a try. I can smell one. It's about, to, it's about to show up. Go for it. Not you, Disciple. Okay. You just tried to rush me and ran right into that tree. I perfectly spaced it. Ooh. We are just draining his health right there. And there's the laser we're looking for. Middle face is dead immediately. We did have a little bit of a preamble on it. But we'll try out the next face on him. We'll wait for the laser. In the meantime, I'll just take out this horde of zombies. There it is. Oh, we only got 80 bullets though. How much is 80 bullets doing to this guy? That had to be a decent amount. Oh, and I couldn't hit my Aether Shroud in time. I wish I could see his health. Aether Shroud so we can get some ammo. I'm actually kind of liking the Renegades more for crowd control. Like, we just decimated that whole group. We got our ammo back. What health is he at now? Oh, we actually got him pretty low with only 80 bullets. And let's do it again. This should end him right there. There we go. Not bad weapons. I've definitely seen way worse. And now that we've fought an abomination, I'm going to throw ammo mods on this. We'll get fire on this and dead wire on this. Oh, wait. Found another napalm burst. I'm throwing that on the lockman. Oh, wow. Look how crazy this gun is. It's one tap and everything. Oh, don't look in the bottom middle. Please don't look in the bottom middle. These guns are busted. Oh. Puts pog face in the thumbnail. Now, if only we could get our hands on a tier three bounty again and a rift. I need both. Oh, shit. A man in need. Oh, I didn't even have to do anything. My presence alone got him up. And there's that tier three bounty we've been looking for. What's going on, Mr. Abomination? Ready to get your shit pushed in again? There we go. Broke a face almost immediately. Let's keep that up. Switching to the Renetti. Getting some nice shots same while he's yelling. And you better have a rift in you. Better be sitting right in there in your belly. I'm about to yank that shit out of you. Pause. Oh, fuck. That was close. Almost went through that entire laser. His face got to be super close to breaking, though. We got a lot of damage on it. Just open up the middle. He's scared to open the middle. He don't want it. He knows what's going to happen. He's about to get a root canal. There you go. Damn, the Renettis are actually really good at crowd control. Just keeping it head level. I'm absolutely decimating the zombies. But now I just picked up the double points. So we need to uh, take this guy out within the next 25 seconds. I want to get 10,000 for killing him. Come on. Go for it. Oh, uh, nope. We actually got him. We don't even need him to laser. Just open up a little bit more, please. There we go. Whew. Starting to stress me out. And he did have a sigil. What a guy. And we got like less than 10 minutes till the storm comes in. I'm going to do a few more contracts and then we'll go into the new Dark Aether. See if we can complete those contracts and fight the boss. But in the meantime, I want to try to get as much time off my schematics as possible. So run me my money. Damn, the reload on this is very slow even with speed cola. I haven't even really paid too much attention to it since I've been using Maggle Holding. But after you like fully use up all your ammo, it gives you the option to reload after. Like here, I got like 15 bullets left. I'll shoot. Let's give it a quick reload after I pick this up. That's very slow. That's with speed coal and everything. And I did not realize how close the storm was. We got to go. It's time. All right, let's go right for that escort contract. It's going to be a pain in the ass, but I have faith. Give me that. And let's start this up. I also threw Deadwire on our Lockman Shroud here because I think this is probably going to be the weapon we use the most against the boss at the end. And hopefully we'll find another Deadwire towards the end of this. That way we can use it on both our weapons. Holy shit, it's at 40% this early on. Oh, and now it's gone. Let me crawl the nuke. 
Jeez. They're giving me a swarm of zombies. All right, Renetti, it's your turn. There's another nuke. Beautiful. I'm throwing a decoy immediately. Make it two decoys. I'm replenishing them. And now we're switching to our cashmeres. Oh, yeah, this thing's not making it past the first stop, I don't think. That's all right. We can use these uh, cashmeres and everything for our holdout. Holy shit, 1%. Let me just go ahead and finish it. Finish it off. You know what, actually? If we can make it through at 1%, we deserve every reward here. Nope, it's gone. I don't deserve shit. That's fine. We can still start the boss fight by using PhD on those spores. That contract is the bane of my existence. It's so hard to do without a VR-11. But if a gun can actually survive it, make it all the way through, even with a little help from some cashmeres, then it's got to be a great gun. I just don't think these things were made for that. A quick cashmere here. We'll activate this. Give me that. And start this up. I need to swap out these throwing knives. These aren't doing me any favors here. We need like mollies. Or, or thermites. I love being able to spam cashmeres during this contract now. Not having to waste them on the escort. What do we get for that? Can I please use it? Please? 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 There's so much shit on the ground by it, I can't even activate my reward rift. Aether Shroud, give me some time to figure this shit out. There it is. A whole lot of nothing. Wait, even in the dark Aether, these Renettis are going crazy at taking the zombies out. Like, the, the flinch it gives to the zombies when you hit them in the head, and them getting stunned, is actually so huge. I feel like that's what really makes them good at taking out these giant hordes of zombies. It just slows them all down. That and our passive is slowing them down, but, you know, who's counting? All right, last contract. Let's get it started. Shoot your laser. There you go. We'll break one face. Beautiful. Aether Shroud. Keep them sitting in one spot. Don't want them rushing me. Oh, man, he's doing it anyways. This medic's got a nuke in him. I need you to drop it now, sir. Thank you. Second laser. And that face should be toast. There we go. Is this dead wire? It is. Nice. We did end up getting dead wire on both our weapons. Perfect. This is textbook right here. We are cleaning them up, and these nukes are helping me keep all these elites away. Normally, there's a hundred manglers shooting at me. Oh, and I just heard one. Oh, here they come. But guess what? Another nuke. And you should be dead. I think this is probably like our cleanest run on this boss. That's the cleanest fight we've had against him. Not a whole lot of good shit coming out of it, though. And we still just have these throwing knives. I really want to scoop up something explosive. Let's get these open. And take them out. That's one of three. Well, I'm technically four. Why is this not working? Is it bugged? Did I do it wrong? Do I need more height? <laughs> that didn't work. On a thermite, though. Oh, there we go. Just took a few attempts. Last one. First try on that. Now we can take out Big Papa. And it's busted. The boss is here. Throwing a decoy right away. I see a nuke. Let me add it. Let's get our Renettis in here first. We broke his mask and got some decent damage on it before he called his boys in. These guys are eating thermites. Come on, this guy's got a nuke in him. There we go. Let me hit that. Damn. Last one. There we go. Another nuke right off a of rip. We'll pull out the Lachlan now. Ooh, this guy's kind of a lightweight. Look at his health. Absolutely getting torched. Damn, we keep staggering him. He's dead. There's no way. You don't get even a, a, an opportunity to try to spawn in any more people. Damn, dude. The fire rate on this thing is crazy. We just dumpstered him. What would we get for that? Oh, a whole lot of nothing. Per usual. But these guns really, really proved themselves. The only thing we kind of struggled at was that escort mission, but I always struggle on that. Very few weapons can make it through. But here in the Dark Aether, they're handling all the zombies. They're handling the elites. These aren't bad aftermarket parts. Let me throw my one last cashmere before we get out of here. Make sure I'm getting all the kills I can. A little nuke for good measure. And you can have a thermite. I'm out of here. Wow, what a clean sweep. 
a nice little 60,000 XP, four hours off our schematics. Let's go. So overall, I would definitely recommend you try and go and unlock these aftermarket parts while you can. I don't know how long they're going to be available to get. I don't know if it was intentional or not. I think the Lockman might not have been, but the Renetis were. And that's just based on how it acted while it was pack-a-punched and the names that showed up when we actually unlocked them. But in multiplayer and in zombies, they were very good. They're handling zombies in any tier, taking on any elite. We even took down that boss very quickly. And in multiplayer, I was actually doing pretty well for myself. I had what, like three advanced UAVs in the same game and that normally don't happen for me. And I was just using the Lockman Shroud and the Renetis and that was it. I definitely prefer them akimbo for the Renetis. Uh, in multiplayer, it seemed a lot better as a secondary option while I was going to reload. Like when my Lockman needed reloading, I mean. And the Lockman just overall, I felt like I was just going right through people. Like the fire rate on it's pretty crazy. But if you do go through and unlock them, I would recommend saving them as a blueprint just in case they like counteractively take them away. You still might be able to equip it through the blueprint. I don't know if you'll be able to change your attachments after that. If they end up removing the aftermarket part or just like hiding it until it's supposed to officially release. But it's probably better to play it safe just in case it does get taken out. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.